Happiness comes from good health, a bad memory, and a perfect beer pour. Welcome back, brew crew. I'm Kill, your brew captain, and today I'm going to show you how to pour the perfect beer. So, getting right off, I'm using Miller High Life champagne of beers. Now, the thing about when you if I can get this thing open. Think about when you are pouring a beer, there's really only three different ways that you can pour a beer. You have the wrong way, you have the popular way, and then you have the right way. So starting off the wrong way. Got my pipe glass here. This is the wrong way to pour a beer. Straight down the middle. Oh yeah, yep. That's great. <clears throat> Wrong. Way too much foam. It, I mean, the first couple drinks is going to be nothing but foam. You're going to miss out on a lot of the beer. So this is the wrong way to pour a beer. Hopefully you're not doing it this way. <clears throat> now, the most popular way that people tend to basically do a beer... is going to be a lot like this. You're going to try and get as little foam as you possibly can. So what people do is they'll tilt their glass to the side. They'll pour the beer in nice and slow. Like, oh man, that's great. That, that's perfect. There's, there's, there's no foam. There's no head. Problem is, it's not really the right way to pour beer. It's just the popular way to pour the beer. And the reason it's not the right way to pour a beer is because you should enjoy your beer. Doesn't matter what it is. If you're just drinking, I mean, hey, you know, do your thing. Uh, if you're eating, if you're trying to enjoy the flavor of it, the issue with this is beer has carbonation inside of it. Beer has carbonation inside of it. Beer has carbonation inside of it. It's supposed to have carbonation inside of it. So, if you go to eat, let's say you're at the bar and you decide to get some nachos or hot wings or anything like this, and you think that you have the perfect beer port, well, the problem is you drink it, and as soon as something starts hitting the inside of your stomach, all that CO2 rises back up. This is basically what's happening inside your stomach as soon as something hits that beer. All the CO2 comes back out. That's why when people drink a beer a lot of times, they say that they get bloated you know, they can't drink as much. You get that hardness in your chest. So this, though it is a popular way because you don't get all the head, the end result is the exact same as if you just dump it right down the middle. Now it's time to pour it the right way. Pop the top. You're going to do something very similar. You're going to hold it at a 45 degree angle and you're going to start pouring it down the line. Now the difference with this one is when you get about halfway, you're going to turn it. And now is when you just dump it in. What this is going to do is it's going to create a light layer of foam on the top. I'm using Miller High Life, so it's not going to have as much as a craft beer would. But with this, it releases the aromas. So when you release the aromas, it's going to have a lot more of a flavor to it. And at the same time, you don't have all that negative reaction in your stomach. So super important for the integrity of the beer. Make sure you're pouring it right. For more how-to videos, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. Stay savvy, brew crew.